Today, let's take a trip to the Sea Captain's House. This restaurant has been a staple for locals and a destination for uh, those on vacation as well. It has a pretty interesting history uh, and it's been operating for quite some time. So let's go in, take a look around. And while we get a view of the interior and see some food that they serve, let's hear the story of the Sea Captain's House. In 1930, the Taylor family built this cottage at the time as a vacation home. Henry Taylor was from High Point, North Carolina, and for about 10 years, the Taylor family vacationed at this oceanfront beach cottage. Now, in the 1940s, Charles W. Angle purchased this cottage from the Taylor family, and he enjoyed it uh, up until 1954 when Miss Howard purchased the cottage and began to operate the Howard Manor. With nine guest rooms and three home-cooked meals daily, Guest House was a forerunner in providing the warm Southern hospitality that Myrtle Beach at the time was known for. The Howard's Manor was advertised as a place where friends meet each other and enjoy the oceanfront while resting and relaxing. With any oceanfront property comes the risk of hurricane. Now the hurricane seasons would come and go with not that much of an issue for this specific building until 1954 when Hurricane Hazel hit. This hurricane de destroyed the supports of the porch that existed on the back of the building at the time. So what the owner did is built a sunroom in the back rather than a porch. That way the guests could enjoy the view uh, rain or shine any time of the year. Here's where the story gets a little interesting. In 1962, the property was scheduled to be sold and torn down and replaced with a, a motel and a parking lot. At the time, uh, financing was short in supply and there was a lot of postponement when it came to these deals going through. Now, while waiting for all the financial stuff to clear up, the owners decided to operate the building as a restaurant. Why not? You're already accepting guests. Why not start making food for the general public? Now this planned to be about a year or two of restaurant operations has now turned into 57 years of business. You see that restaurant was so successful, they didn't need to sell the property. At this point, the restaurant's credibility uh, started to rise and it became a staple for the locals due to you know this view that you see right here and the good food that they served. So it's interesting to think that way back when in the 30s this structure which serves this food right here was built as a simple vacation cottage for the Taylor family from North Carolina right down the street. And over the years it changed hands a few times but where we ended up was a local staple that survived Hurricane Hazel, which truth be told, the oceanfront was left fairly skimpy after Hazel. Hazel was a major hurricane and took out the majority of the large structures in Myrtle Beach at the time. So the fact that this structure survived with relatively minor damage uh, compared to the other buildings around it is very impressive. So. If you make your way to the sea captain's house, just keep that in mind while you're there taking in the scenery of the building and the ocean outside of it, because there is a, a nice rich local history for this fairly simple looking structure from the outside. So all that being said, let's just take a look at the exterior and appreciate what this was when it was built. Just a simple cottage, now a fully operational restaurant.
While looking at the front of the building, I noticed what appeared to be almost like a drive-through window configuration installed in the front. So if anyone knows what the use of this was, comment down below, let me know. I'm kind of interested to see if maybe they had seating out front at some point and that was a order, quick order window maybe? I don't know, let me know if you know.